This is Stephanie Manley with copycat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make the macaroni and cheese from the Longhorn Steakhouse. This has a wonderful smoky flavor in it with the smoked paprika and it's just an incredible four cheese rich macaroni. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so this macaroni and cheese at the Longhorn Steakhouse is incredible. So while I'm making the sauce, I'm going to go ahead and cook my pasta. Now we're going to use a special corkscrew pasta. If you don't have it, the macaroni shape will work out well, but this is the kind that you want to use right here. So be sure to buy the corkscrew pasta. So I have some water in the back here, so I'm just going to go ahead and let that get started while we make our sauce. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out this macaroni and cheese with a roux. So we're gonna use a little bit of butter and flour. So we're gonna let this get in here and get all nice and melted. Now, on my blog at copycat.com, I have the written instructions for this recipe. And in the description bar down below this recipe, I also have everything listed there for you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our butter all nice and melted, and I'm gonna add in my flour. And we're gonna let this cook for about a minute or so. All right, so this is going to cook for a little bit. You're gonna know it's done when it begins to smell something like a pie crust. It's gonna become very fragrant. And at that point, you know that it's done. All right, so let's talk about the cheeses in here. This is actually a four cheese recipe. We are gonna use Gruyere. We're also gonna use a sharp white cheddar and Fontina, um, sort of melt really, really nicely. And we're also gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese in here. So it's a wonderful four cheese blend. So this is continuing to cook. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding in my half and half. Just wanna add a little bit at a time, but let it thicken up and we will add a little bit more cream. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit more. As soon as that begins to thicken up, go ahead and add in a little bit more milk. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in my cheeses at this time. I'm gonna start out by adding the Gruyere. All right, so as my sauce continues to thicken, I'm gonna go ahead and add in the remaining cheeses. And you just wanna kinda of blend this together with each addition. All right, so we've got all of our cheeses mixed in there. I got the Fontina, the Parmesan, the Gruyere, and the white cheddar. This is an incredibly cheesy sauce. I'm not gonna really add any salt to this because the cheese seems to have a good salt flavor here. And this is where a nice smokehouse flavor comes in. I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. The smoked paprika is actually a really important ingredient in here because it's really gonna carry over the flavor of the smokehouse. In fact, right now it smells really smoky. Now I know on their menu it says it's been smoked, but the texture of the macaroni doesn't really strike me as being smoked. Now if you have a smoker, by all means, go ahead and put your macaroni and cheese into a smoker and let it get a little bit more smoke. The rest of us, probably the smoked paprika is gonna do it for us. It smells really nice. It's a very rich sauce right now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and combine some of the sauce with this corkscrew pasta, and we're gonna stir it together, and we're gonna bake it off in a dish. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add the cheese to the pasta. 
Now for this recipe, I think it's really important that you go ahead and splurge and use the half and half. This isn't a macaroni and cheese that you're gonna have every day. But I find that stuff reheats a little bit better the higher fat content that it has. It's, it's much more reliable. So, um, and it's less apt to scorch and turn a little bit off on you. So I definitely recommend uh, using the recipe as written. This is gonna be just a little bit too much sauce, but that's fine. You can refrigerate this and make macaroni and cheese later. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and stir this together. I wanna make sure that the pasta is really well coated. So I'm gonna pour this into a baking dish. We're not quite done just yet. What makes the Longhorn Steakhouse macaroni and cheese so special is it gets a little bit of bacon in there. So I have a nice video on how to make bacon bits. So be sure to get a nice smoky, maybe like a really nice apple wood smoked um, bacon and that'll taste wonderful. And then they also finish it with just a little bit of panko breadcrumbs. So we're gonna add just a sprinkle of those this gives it a, a nice little crunch, not too many, maybe about two tablespoons for the whole thing. And then I'm gonna spoon on just a little bit more of the sauce. And we're gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes or so. It's, so it sets up. All right, so I'm ready to try some of the uh, macaroni and cheese goodness from the Lone Star Steakhouse. So if you enjoy copycat videos, please be sure to give me a big thumbs up here on YouTube and drop me a comment down below. I'd love to see what you'd like to see next. And I'm all over social media, so you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You know, maybe one day I'll even try Snapchat. Who knows? All right, so let's go ahead and try this macaroni and cheese. It's wonderfully creamy. Um, so let me spoon some up right here and I'll go ahead and give it a nice taste. Mmm. All right, so the smoked paprika really adds a nice smoky flavor in here. The bacon is, adds a nice touch. There's a little bit of crunch from the panko breadcrumbs, and all those different cheeses really combine well together to give you a, an outstanding macaroni and cheese. You know what, I bet this might even become one of your favorite macaroni and cheese recipes. So please be sure to give this recipe a try. And you know what, if you make it, shoot a picture of it and put it on Instagram and tag me so I can um, see how your macaroni and cheese comes out. Thanks for watching.